what you should have just seen is me start the wiring this cart. And unfortunately, with multiple failures, tripod and uh, apparently my other camera. Uh, so, so this is where we're at. Uh, this is kind of the stock shifter. And if you imagine this, it's supposed to be a two kid cart. So one kid's here with their leg on each side. So this is actually kind of the right under the kid's knee or they're a little bigger, maybe right on their thigh is where the shifter sits. So this just, you know, jams in their leg. So my thought is uh, for a reverse switch, gonna throw all this stuff away. Oh, I'll take that back, not all of it. Gonna throw away the shifter. We'll keep this little box, but we'll keep it just for. Jeez, what a junk. This hole, and we'll take one of these switches and uh, figure out how to make it fit in there. I mean, I think that's pretty close. I might just uh, grind it flat and put it in. So hopefully, this will go in there. But we need to cut this uh, up to run our wires. Then we'll have, uh, you know, we'll have reverse kind of sitting here uh, in kind of a protective bump. So in order to get to it, you'll have to, you know, stick your hand in here a little bit. You know. My other option was to put it somewhere up here. Um, I'm afraid that they're going to bump it or something like that. So, um, my other thought was just to put this trigger, you know, somewhere in here where they got the deal right on the wheel, but that might get a little hard to pull for a little finger. So we're going to, we're going to do this. And from now on, I guess I'm going to have to hand this video this camera doesn't really fit in the tripod, but here's here's where we are. The two motors, motors, the wire. Uh, so these these two are battery. They're going to go all the way up um, to the second battery, and then that's going to come out through a hole right here to our controller, which is actually a 24 volt controller and not 12. Um, so it's 24 volt at 25 amp, and the way these things work, it might actually handle less amps at a lower voltage, but we're not too concerned. I mean, the drill is only 18 volts, and it would pull a good 10 amps on, you know, initial hit, and uh, good 4 or 5 just continuous, so we're going to do that. I better turn this music off or my video will get flagged. Um... And then, yeah, and then here's the two motors, and uh, they're going to be long enough. They just need to come back to the switch for forwards and reverse. And then after the switch, we'll do some new wire, a short run back down to here. So uh, that's where I'm at, and that should be, uh, power-wise, that should be it, except for hooking up the batteries. It's going to be two 6 volts here for 12, uh, kind of the original battery location. And then up front here... This hood never stays shut. It just pops open the whole time they're driving. Uh, so we're going to end up screwing this hood shut. But I believe two uh, 6 volt will fit here. And the two 6 end up with the same amp hour as the original battery. So basically double double the battery. So I only have to charge it once a week instead of uh, every other day. Um, so the other ones will go here. And maybe a charge plug right on this so I can just charge it with the... Uh, the battery charger um, something like that so that's how we're doing it I already have this set of batteries actually in my geo configured um, uh, groups of two two in series and two in parallel so grouped two for 12 and two more for another 12 and then grouped together at the ends so they're already in the same configuration and uh, they're balanced in the configuration they're in so they're going to be in the same configuration in this cart you can have two here for 12 and those will go over to the other ones, positive to positive, negative to negative for 12, 
I, with the switch and the motors, I could probably do 24. I know people do that, but my kids are still pretty young. Um, I really don't want this thing doing twice the speed. It's fast enough now. It's just too scary with the way you hit the pedal and it just takes off uh, instantly. So maybe in the future, uh, 24 volt configuration would be pretty easy to do because all this guy's got to do is um, go from uh, series to parallel with the batteries. Anyway, that's it. And when we come back, um, hopefully this will all be wired and uh, we'll be doing a got to do a direction test on the motors and then we'll start getting it all put back together. This is my first time doing it like this adding auto over picture so bear with me uh, that's just the old shifter uh, mechanism cut out um, just did that with a Dremel tool um, this is just me making some of the wires this is the switch wires and you see up upper right hand corner I actually pulled the wires out of the switch um, connectors and then put them back together and that's just running the wire down the chassis the next slide uh, that's my spare wire box or my scrap wire box if I ever take it to the scrap yard um, super useful to have one of those and just put bits of wire in it uh, that's the completed forward reverse switch um, the wires come out of that and then go in their individual sets to each motor so I wasn't losing any voltage with just one wire and that's the start of the uh, thing that holds a throttle switch which is an old drill switch just cut out a computer case and that's the switch mounted to it uh, roughly mounted and I kind of slotted the bottom so I can adjust the switch forward to back excuse me and there's the switch poking through the front again that's kind of rough I uh, cleaned it up quite a bit after this and hit to test its fit uh, in that hole and that's the switch pretty much completed in the panel. The panel's painted. All the connectors are on. Uh, all heat shrink tubed. Uh, crimped and soldered. That's just me setting it in place. And this is me building the pedal. I was just going to cut it out of the square chunk of aluminum I had left over from that computer case. And I thought, well, what if I make it look like a foot? And um, it turned out to be a lot more work than I thought. Uh, it took probably an hour to get this far, cutting it with shears and a hacksaw. Um, harder to cut than I thought. And then me trying to figure out how to put it on a hinge. Of course, the smallest hinge I had was almost twice as big. So I actually ended up cutting that hinge almost in half. Uh, and then making a backing plate for it. You should see some of that coming up. That's me sizing it. At this point, there's no hinge on it or anything. I just want to see how it would actually fit in the space, how it would look. And if you see right here, the rivets are really tall on the back of that hinge. And that hinge is cut in half. And I solved that in a problem. Or I solved that problem in a second. Should have. Yep, and there's this complete with the backing plate. And I flattened all the rivets with a hammer. And now I'll let you uh, go back to the rest of the video. Well, there's a finished throttle. That was a lot of work. Uh, so it's the trigger mounted in there, as you've seen in the pictures. With uh, this, I don't know, I might have to bring it out just a tad more and uh, make that slot a little bigger. But for now, that's, that's the trigger on this plate I built. Um, the plate's probably live, which I didn't think of until like a second ago. Um, but if I have to, I can I can insulate it uh, from the other stuff if I have to. Um, uh, custom ground, cut, drilled, and about everything else hinged down here for the pedal. Riveted here, and then the other four rivets for this uh, reinforcement slash spacer out of another piece of aluminum and scrap I had. So that is uh, full depression right there. Right when the toes touch, the switch is all the way down. I mean, it's, yeah, it's smooth. Takes a little bit of force to push, but I don't, I don't think the kids will have a problem with that. Um, it feels, it actually feels really nice. And up top, it's easier, so if you got your heel on it, uh, it'll take some heel abuse. 
but uh, easier with just the, the tip of your toes. So that's it. Um, this needs some, uh, um, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe I'm going to, I might just cut, uh, I might throw this whole chunk apart and just cut a square piece of aluminum. That's probably what I'll do. Cut a square piece of aluminum for this to mount the switch in and then figure out a way to mount that aluminum in there. I don't really know how there's, mm, I mean, unless I set it in that hole like that. And build kind of like a backwards box. Yeah, that's a lot of that's a lot of dicking around. Anyway, I'm gonna put the switch in it the right direction. Throw a battery in it and um, give it a little uh, little test so I got the right switch direction. And then uh, that's that's probably it for a couple days. I gotta go check my dinner and the family's almost home. And I just hope I can have this uh, ready to roll when they get back. Okay, well, uh, other than putting the battery in the back, and uh, I'm thinking I should have done 24 volts, but the batteries aren't wired. Uh, I have one temporarily wired up here, so I still could do uh, 24 volts. Anyway, uh, but this pedal turned out really nice, uh, real solid, even if you push it just with the toes. Variable speed. I mean, you can uh, be easier if you were the kid with the foot, but uh, you can just barely crawl if you want. There seems to be a little difference in uh, and there shouldn't be. When you're going really slow, there seems to be a difference in uh, wheel speed, actually. Oh yeah, that one wants to move before that other one. With the same amount of voltage to both of them. So hopefully when there's some weight in it, it won't try to steer sideways. I, I really don't know why. That's why I kept these wire lengths. Uh, I kept the two different sets of wires it had all the way up to here to the switch. That's where they're joined. And then um, when they come out, they're they're in unison up to the foot pedal to power. Anyway, we'll have to see how the kids like it. But I think this variable speed. I mean, you can. There you go. You can just crawl with it if you want. Let's see if I can't get it crawling. There we go. Which the no more, so no more sudden jerk. So I could do rubber tires now, and it wouldn't tear out a transmission. Or you can put it right to the floor. Anyway, I really, I really, really like how this turned out. I really like how that pedal turned out. Um, as far as I can tell, it's not steering sideways, and the the brake works well. And I've been playing with it for about ten minutes, and we'll see if this switch thing got warm. Oh no, not at all. I mean, it's, yeah, because the switch is cooled through this aluminum plate too, because it's attached down here, and there's, I mean, it's, it feels colder than it does outside, so it's definitely not heating up. Um, I might do one more uh, battery kill switch somewhere, and then this is just how I have it wired now, twisted together with um, about three feet of extra wire, which is probably slowing her, giving her a little slowdown. But anyway, good enough. I'll put a bungee strap over the battery in the hood so when the kids get home, they can give it a try. Um, so that's it. So that is the end of the car project. Oh, and the uh, this here, which I... Um, I'm not going to actually attach the flag until I get a very, very large fender washer and put this bend in it. And uh, two of them do one on the inside too, so that I can I can get like a you know three inch round area around this bolt um, to hold that. Uh, I'm afraid if not, then I'm going to just break this plastic. This uh, car's made out of some really soft stuff. So that's it. Uh, if we ever do anything else, we'll be adding some rubber to the tires or putting some. Uh, 
lawnmower wheels on the back of it. But for now, that's it. Uh, I hope you like that. hope you learned something, maybe. If uh, you watched the whole thing. Uh, what else? What else can I say? Um, I mean, it was pretty much here if you if you saw the photos. Uh, this this pedal was the most time consuming. Uh, this switch, I ended up just using that switch body and adding a little. This looks like it looks oddly enough like a dog tank. Take little chunk of metal from a transformer, which was free to kind of fill the gap, and then riveted it in there. I thought that looked cleaner than um, anything else, and just uh, polished the ends with the wire wheel, the grinder, and then the wire wheel. Which kind of gave it this, I don't know, gave it a pretty neat look. It'll probably rust, so um, probably won't look neat for very long. Uh, that's it. I might do a little bit of a steering mod later, uh, but that's after after it gets some different tires. Its steering radius is pretty um, it's pretty wide. It doesn't steer very tight, and so if there's rubber tires on the or if you get rubber tires on the back, that'll get even worse because right now it kind of skids skid steers. So, um, anyway, okay, thanks. Okay, this is their first ride. Put it back in reverse. Listen up. I told you, you had to be good. You do that again, you're coming out. Okay, back up, back up slow. Hold the wheel. You're fine, back up slow. You're fine. Spider, bad spider. No, spiders, look. Turn the wheel a little bit like this. Back up slow. Just back up slow. There you go. You got it. Back up. Back up. Keep going back. Keep going back. You're almost to the street. Oh, my. Oh, oh my, she says. Okay. Okay. Take your foot off the gas pedal. Take your foot off the gas pedal. Boy, you can't just keep pushing the gas. That's how you keep driving. Okay, put it in forwards. Give it a try. Turn the wheel. The kid forgot how to drive. 